Hello everybody, this is Rita with Restyle Renewed and I am going to show you how I did these pumpkins. So I'm starting a little early. Uh, I said I was going to do tonight, but I'm starting now. Let me get the camera just a little bit lower. I think that's good. So I'm going to show you how I do these pumpkins. And uh, for anybody who can't come on till tonight, you can just watch replay. If you want to try to remember how to do this, just hit the share button and it'll go to your page and you can go and rewatch uh, how I do this. So this is the pumpkins I was showing you um, in the photos. So beautiful aged pumpkins is what I'm going to show you how to do. So this one has gold wax and this is the other photo I showed you. And this one is uh, some different molds, some leaves and some flowers and then one of the really large uh, scrolled molds there. See, this is a really good one if you have a large pumpkin. So this was just a paper mache pumpkin. Uh, in fact, you can see the bottom. I didn't even wax the bottom yet. This one, these ones I got at Hobby Lobby, 40% off. And they're kind of like cardboard, so they're like paper mache. And so Hobby Lobby sells those ones and just get them on sale. So that's that. And this is the other one. And this is the same, uh, the same paper mache pumpkin you can get at Hobby Lobby. So very easy to find these. The other pumpkins, um, and I'm doing work on this one with you guys so you can see what I do. This one is just from Walmart, one of the foamy, uh, plasticky foam ones that Walmart sells. And same with this. This is just a Walmart uh, pumpkin that I went and bought and I just painted it. So isn't this cute? Look what you can do, you guys. Thank you. So this is, um, these are just molds. You can make, there's, I don't know, not hundreds, but seems like hundreds of molds on the website, on my online store you can purchase. And any of the molds can be put on pumpkins, pretty much any of them, right? And so, um, like I said, I like the leaves. I really like the leaves on the, like this is a huge pumpkin. And this one is the a fancy big, this one, this is one of the fancy ones, and this is good if you have a large pumpkin. Like if you're doing this on a real pumpkin, um, that's a good one. This is Portico, I think Portico Scroll 2, what's it called, something like that. But you'll see all sorts of scrolly ones in the online store. And then this one is the leaves. And this is the one I've been using quite a bit of, but they have all sorts of different things on them, right? So that is the ones that I am, so I'm gonna show you uh, this one, I'll show you what I do with waxing. I kind of like the gray and the white, so I'm not sure I'm gonna paint these molds. So the first thing I do is I get my pumpkin. So this is a Walmart pumpkin, and it has, uh, it has, it was really glossy. It's one of these foam ones, right? I think it was $3 or something. Uh, and I think the dollar store probably sells the same kind. So I just scuff sanded it. I took a, um, was it 120 or 220 grit sandpaper and I scuff sanded it to get rid of that gloss. You don't want that gloss on there for a painting. So I just did that and then my next step was I painted it. So this is after I painted it and I'm using on these ones, the big ones, I use a neutral paint. Of course you can use any paint color you want. Let me show you um, the paint I used right here. This is called Marble Island and you can see, well, this is the color. It's a really gorgeous neutral color. So Marble Island by Bungalow 47 is on these pumpkins. But obviously you can use whatever paint you have on hand. Uh, it can be a craft paint. Craft paints are totally fine. Thank you, Francis, for sharing. Hopefully a lot of people can watch this and learn something uh, because, you know, pumpkin season is here. And I wanted to Starbucks while I was doing this, but I didn't go down to Starbucks to uh, to get one. So I paint it. I put two coats, right? You buy your pumpkin, you scuff sand it if it's glossy, you put on your paint, you put on one coat, you let it dry, you put on coat number two, you let the paint dry. Um, if you're gonna do a dark wax effect like on this, it's kind of nice to have a creamy color paint, and so that's why I did neutral. 
So let your second coat dry and then you can start putting on your molds, you guys, and you can use whatever molds you want. You can see on this one, I just did leaves, all sorts of little cute little leaves at the top. But of course, you know, there's flowers like this little one, right? So let me show you because you guys, I am not really into molds. Molds are not my thing. Um, so if I can do this, anybody can do this, you guys. Seriously, anybody can. And some people like the resin. I've seen people do it with resin, but I'm not into that because that takes too long. But if you wanted to use the resin, I have this in the online store. Uh, you can buy the resin if you want. It's in the store. So what I'm using is, this is a modeling material um, by Prima. It's in the online store. And this is what it looks like. It comes in a gigantic container. But you guys, this actually, I actually need, I've actually done my first tube. I know it looks big, but you actually need quite a bit to do these molds if you're doing something like a large pumpkin. You actually need quite a bit of uh, clay. So the ones I use is this one, Prima Modeling Material. And I'll show you how it comes. But like I said, just use whatever you want. So this is how it comes. Oh, let me get one out here. So this is how it comes. It comes in these uh, round little circular things. And so, um, like I said, this goes fast. So what I do is, right before I'm gonna use my mold, right before I'm going to put them in my, in my molds here, right before I use this clay, I put it in the microwave, so I put that tube I put it in the microwave for 10 seconds and putting the microwave makes it nice and soft, right? So now it's pretty soft. Uh, it does dry out fast. So you want to work kind of fast here. Uh, you can also do this with the modeling clay from Hobby Lobby. Uh, you can put it in the microwave for a few seconds too. So now I'm going to show you what I do. I'll just do this little leaf here. And like I said, you guys, I am not into molds. Uh, I'm doing it for the pumpkins, but I don't work a lot with molds. So if I can do this, anybody can. And it's nice and fast. Once this dries, you can totally paint it and wax it. So that's why I prefer this over the resin. Yeah, some people I hear uh, use hot glue. I haven't tried hot glue. I like this because it, it, um, it dries fast and then you can paint it and do all your things on it. So I prefer this. I'm going to stand up because I need strength to do this. So what I do, I just get a chunk, right? And I'm putting it over the one that I want to use, right? And then I'm just removing um, the excess. I'm pushing it down and removing the excess. So it's just simple. Um, I find this, this to me seems really fast and simple and that's what I want. I just want fast and easy. So I'm pushing it down and I'm um, kind of pushing it away. See, hopefully you guys can see. I'm pushing it away and if the comments are in your way, just scroll uh, one way and the comments will get out of your way if you guys can't see. So this is all you have to do, you guys. You just push it in and do it with your thumb like that so you're pushing the, mold, the modeling material away, right? And then you're going to take this uh, extra stuff here and you're going to reuse it. And usually it comes out really well. If you want to, if you're nervous, just put some cornstarch in your mold um, and do that. So let's see how this comes out. And if it breaks, don't worry because you can just put it, uh, you know, glue it back on, on your pumpkin. It's super easy to work with. I find this stuff uh, just really easy.
So there we go. And then I usually try tucking in. If there's extra, I'm just, you know, tucking it in a little bit. Right? And then what I'm gonna do, I wanna get this right away on my pumpkin because I wanna shape it to my pumpkin. So um, whatever you are doing it, if you're doing it on furniture, then you're gonna wanna get this on the furniture, I would think, and uh, glue it on and then it'll shape, you can kind of shape it to what you're putting it on, right? If you can put these on, uh, picture frames are good. Let me find my glue here. And so this is the glue that I find is the best uh, for mold, it's tight bond. Uh, it's probably backwards. So it says tight bond Original wood glue. This is the glue that I find works so well with these molds So this is the one it's red tight bond red. So if you guys want to keep this video just share it It'll go to your page um, And then you can come back and watch if you can't remember all the stuff. I'm telling you uh, that I use So now what I do is I just pour this on a plate let me get some of this dry glued out of the way. So I just pour this on a plate. And the great thing about this is, you guys, this lid here, this thing here is amazing. The glue just runs right back in. It's like the best thing ever. Hello, Cynthia. It's the best thing ever. I hope you're feeling okay. I saw you went to the hospital again. Gosh. Okay, so let's get this on. So I want to get this on before it dries out. So that's the glue I use and I'm going to use, I just use a craft brush, like a stiff uh, craft brush. And I'm just going to put the tight bond on the back. You guys, it's amazing this glue, like the mold, the uh, it doesn't move. It just stays right on the pumpkin where you put it. It's not I thought, you know, oh my goodness, it's gonna like fall off. I'm gonna have to tape it. It doesn't at all. It just stays there, you guys. And it does shrink a tiny, tiny bit once it's totally dry on your pumpkin, but you can go back afterwards and add more uh, wax. So then, let's move this out of the way. So then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my pumpkin. Look at that, you guys. Look how easy this is. Super, super easy. And seriously, you guys, it's just going to stay there. It's going to stay there. So if you want to kind of move it around a little bit, um, you know, I think that position is good right there. So I'll just show you again. Uh, I'll do this one again. So it is good if you, the one that you're not using, like the clump that you're not using, just put it back in your bucket so that it doesn't get too hard. I'm just gonna put it, stick it back in here for a second because I think that other batch is enough. So I'm just gonna press it down a little bit. I'm pretty sure I have enough here. If not, I'll just get some more. So just, you know, grab a clump and then I'm pushing it in, pushing it in and pushing it with my thumb away, right? See how it's taking shape there? And like I said, you guys, I am not an expert at this, but this is what's been working for me. So this is how I do it. And if you want to, um, you can get like a knife or a... Uh,
some of these it's really there's not much room in between so kind of helps to have something sharp maybe to get away the extra uh, stuff there And then I'm just going to try and get out now. So just kind of bending it. And maybe it would be easier if I had used cornstarch. I'm just not going to worry. So far it's working and I have not used cornstarch. Now see this one broke off. But we are not going to worry. All we have to do is glue that on the pumpkin. No worries. There we go. So I'm just going to get my little knife here and tuck in any little extra little bits kind of sticking out and then I'm going to put the glue on glue 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 and you can see you guys see it did not move at all it's just sitting there this stuff this glue is just so good wait this is my glue so you just need a little bit, just, you know, use a brush and just rub it on. Very simple, right? It's just really fast. It's not, um, you know, it just doesn't take much at all to do this. So I'm just going to put it on the other side over here. I'll put it right here and I'm just going to press press it on and it's just going to stay there now I'm going to do the little piece of leaf that fell off it's no worries where did you get your molds Donna I sell the molds in my online store I'm a prima retailer uh, let me hang on what did else did I see hi ladies hi Donna liquid resin yeah if you guys want um how long does it take for the resin to set up maybe 10 minutes i have some um in my online store restylerenew.com is my website restylerenew.com so i sell the resin and i sell i'm using modeling material um but just you know use whatever you whatever you want to use i find this super easy the thing the reason why i like this is because it's fast This is nice and fast. The resin, you know, it's a two-step thing. You gotta wait for it to dry, and I don't have time for that. So I like this because it is really fast. So there you go. That's the piece that fell off, and I just put it back on. Very, very easy. So fast, very easy. Um, again, this is the glue that I'm using. Pumpkin molds, molds that are a pumpkin? No, I have not seen that. Tight Bond Original, Tight Bond Original with this amazing uh, lid area here. The glue just goes right back in. So this is what I'm using and I'm just, look, it's so easy, you guys, so easy. So whatever you're not using, um, your extra, just put it in your container so it doesn't dry out too much. And like I said, um, just 10 seconds in the, 10 seconds for the air, air clay to uh, get soft. But there's tons of other molds there's, and I'm going to show you guys the brand new molds that just came out. Brand new amazing molds. They've arrived and you guys get a sneak peek at those. Just some of them have arrived, not all of them. 
So this is all I do is, and that's why I like this stuff. I don't know why people don't like it. I just, it's so fast and instantly you have, you know, you can create what you want to create. And there's so, so many molds now, so many uh, different kinds of molds. See, look cute, look how fast that is. So easy. And maybe I'm gonna put this one right here and then I'm gonna show you guys how I age it, how I get this aging here. So let's just put some glue on here and then we are done. If you guys have any other questions about the modeling material, uh, just let me know, but it's just pretty straightforward. There we go. I just like this, it's so fast, okay. And then if I wanted to, uh, I could put maybe like a flower here, we'll see, maybe a flower or something. But I won't keep that up, I won't keep doing that now, because you guys know I've showed you how to do the mold here with your thumb and how to glue it and the glue and now I'm going to show you um, I'm, this is one of the ones I did right so I'm going to show you uh, the wax I'll show you the wax first so once you get all your molds on the pumpkin like I did here this is one of the pumpkins so once I have all my molds on here and I painted them so I pre-painted the pumpkin right and then I went back and I painted the the uh, molds here, right? And so now I'm going to do the wax and I'm gonna age it like I did this one here. So you guys um, know how that's done. Okay, so you can use any wax at Patina. If you're local in my booth, I sell little things of waxes that you can buy for crafting uh, in my booth there at Department 1-3. But this one I'm using is Annie Sloan uh, Wax. It's dark. It's a mix of dark and clear. So I'm going to put the wax on my pumpkin. This is how I age the pumpkins. Now this has all been painted and it's all dry. Uh, I don't know why you're having trouble, but you know what you could do is try the, uh, people are saying the, um, that powder, what did I just say it's called? Um, cornstarch. People are saying cornstarch is supposed to help to get them out. So you could try to see if the cornstarch helps you. And yeah, all I did was just, I was just moving it around, right? Kind of moving it around and it popped out. So try the cornstarch and see if that helps you. So I'm just putting on some dark wax because I want this aged, but if you don't want to age, then you don't have to um, do this part. But you know, I, if you guys have been following my Facebook page, you know that I love, love, love working with waxes and I work with waxes a lot on my furniture pieces. So I'm just now carrying that over to pumpkins. Look at that you guys, look how amazing it looks. Look at the detail it gives and the, this is adding character, right? See, just adding character you guys from the boring to that. That's why I love wax. It's all about building character and giving dimension, aging. You don't want to leave it sitting on here too, too long. So look at that. And you can see sometimes it does crack. See right there. But I love it, it adds to the look, you guys, when it cracks, it adds to it. You don't wanna get upset if something cracks. It's all part of the cool look. Where's that big one? 
So this one, see? This one, the silver one I did, right? It cracked there and it cracked in two different spots, but it looks cool. So you can use any wax, like I said. Um, I have the little tiny ones at the booth. But whatever you wax you have, furniture wax, for those people who put it on their furniture, just grab your wax and put it on your pumpkin and your molds. And you want a brush, it's better to work with a small brush that can really move. You want something flexible because I'm needing to push in, right? So um, it's a little hard in the tiny little pumpkins like this. It's hard to get in there and wipe, so just do the best you can. And then you kind of have to get, you know, I see I'm pushing. I want to get sort of around the leaves and get in there really well if I can. So that's why it's good to have a brush that is small and uh, flexible. You don't want a huge furniture uh, wax brush for this. If you have a stencil brush, I use stencil brushes often uh, with wax. You can use a stencil brush. In fact, this might even, no, this is not, this is a wax brush. If you have an old paint brush, like a little craft brush that is old and it's gotten hard, um, you know, you could use that too. Paint brushes, you know, can work too as uh, wax brushes. You see the difference there? See what's happening here? Look at that gorgeousness, right? Compared to the plain. So I'm not gonna be able to get into the really tight areas and that's okay. And I'll show you guys the wax after this. You can put on your wax uh, right away, your metallic, your metallic wax. All of this is in the online store, restyledrenew.com. I sell all sorts of waxes, um, colored waxes, not the Annie Sloan. Um, colored waxes, I sell molds, I sell modeling material, I sell um, this amazing resin. I sell brushes, transfers, and I'm going to show you guys, you guys get to see some of the brand new molds. Uh, they just arrived. There are a whole bunch of brand new molds that were released by Prima and I'll show you some arrived, not all of them, but some are here. So those of you that ordered them, uh, you will get of course those before anybody else. So look at that you guys, is that not cool? Just add so much. Look at how gorgeous those leaves are now. Beautiful. Yes. Well, there's, and there's always stuff to learn, right? Always stuff to learn. I mean, you know, me too. I've been doing this a long time, but yeah, there's tons I don't know. So I'm trying to get right up here at the very top. Just a little bit more up there, I think it needs. And that might be good, it's hard to see. Let me just kind of take a look here, okay. So there you go, you guys. That is how I do the wax, and that is how I age them. Um, and that's what I did here with these gorgeous pumpkins. This is the this is the aging um, on that pumpkin, and same with this pumpkin. This is 
uh, the aging that I did when that is wax. So let's check our little guy here. He's looking good. See, nothing is slipping. That glue is amazing, you guys. It's amazing, uh, amazing glue. And this little guy, so we're done with this guy and let us do some, um, so I got all sorts of waxes in the store. This is Redesign Prima. I'm a Prima retailer, so there's lots of those. And there's also, this is a high-end kind of a wax, Prima. And this is not as high-end, but I sell these ones too. There's tons and tons of colors of these ones, you guys. Purples and greens, and these are just $6. These are a little bit more, but you get more in them. And you guys, they also have these little tiny ones that is Prima, and these smell amazing. And I'm gonna show you, I think I'm going to do, um, I have silver and I have gold, right? So let's do rose maybe. Let's do rose gold on this one and see what rose gold looks like with this. Smells amazing. I don't know what they put in here. So let, all you do then is you just put some on your finger and then you just start rubbing it on. Oh, I like this. Oh, this looks nice. I wasn't sure if this would go with kind of the brown, uh, but it's looking really good with the aging, the brown aging on here. I'll show a close-up to you guys. Can you see how pretty this is looking? This one is rose gold, and I also have a pink tiny little wax. I might try that one on the gray one. You know, you can do any colors, right? It doesn't have to be, um, you know, the silver or gold. I'm really liking this rose gold. This is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. And I think the little ones, I think are a little bit less expensive than the big ones. I can't remember though. I have so much stuff in the store, online store, I can't remember prices on everything. So, can you guys see? Look at that beautiful rose gold, gorgeous. It's really, as you can see, this is what I was saying, it's really fast, you guys. It's some drying time, of course, right? You gotta let your paint dry, and then, um, but paint drying, that doesn't take very long. As soon as your two layers of paint are dry, you put, do your molds, put on your molds. And your molds need to dry a little bit before you paint them. But again, the molds dry fast because it's the paper clay, right? The, this modeling material, clay stuff, dries fast. And that's why I like to use it instead of um, resin stuff. But whatever you guys wanna do, there you got, you know, different options, whatever you like, whatever you find easier, do that one. I just wanted to show you an option for decorating for um, the fall season. I just love this. I'm not sure yet if I want to do this on furniture. I know a lot of people are putting molds on furniture. I haven't done that yet. Um, but this I like. I know, isn't it elegant? I agree. It's almost, um, it's elegant because of the metallic waxes, right? But yet it's aged and old at the same time. And that's why I love this, because it's all of that um, in one thing, all of it. Because these waxes are just incredible. They're so uh, gorgeous, and they're so shimmery. Now, this is a subtle, this one is a subtle shimmer, uh, but you can see, hang on, I got stuff all over my hands here. You can see this one is shinier, right? That's the gold. Um, and the silver is actually quite shiny too. See, there's the silver. But even the silver looks good aged. So this is the rose gold and I love it. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more and then I think we're done, you guys. This is just a nice, soft, uh, nice, soft, sh subtle shimmer here that we have going on. So there we go. That is gorgeous uh, rose gold, beautiful. Look at that. It looks aged to perfection. 
and very easy where do you get the pumpkins okay well there's different places the little ones these are styrofoam inexpensive ones at Walmart uh, they were orange and white this is one of the ones not painted from Walmart styrofoam these big ones um, I got at Hobby Lobby there they were like um, paper mache like cardboard uh, pumpkins that's Hobby Lobby so Walmart and Hobby Lobby and I got them 40% off at Hobby Lobby and so these ones are great if you want something big for your centerpiece table uh, these ones are really good for that so let's try the pink you guys and see what if you know me I love pink and so I want to show you what this pink looks like let me just I'm gonna use a napkin so if you guys want to share this video um, so you have it to your Facebook page to go back and reference if you need to reference something so let me just before that let me show you some of the colors there's so many colors I don't have my box here but this is just one of the colors that you could use right with metallic waxes I've got purples and greens and I've got peach and all sorts of colors in the online store restylerenew.com all sorts of Prima ones um, and I have the this one is the Prima rose gold little but I also have the um, cheaper ones this is a six dollar rose gold which works too so let's try the pink this is a redesign a hot pink it's called India pink Indian pink and it's the most amazing magenta you guys thanks Donna this is the most amazing magenta look at this look at that it is absolutely gorgeous and let's put some pink this is even cute like this you guys if you want to leave your molds it looks really good with dark gray um, if you want to leave them white you could certainly do that okay let's see what the pink looks like oh that's pretty too so this is the pink that's the pink wax and it is as cute as can be This, I'm not rubbing it in uh, super hard, just a little bit. So that's really pretty. And this one has all sorts of little tiny flowers on it, right? So this is Indian pink. It's gorgeous. So maybe let's try the... Um, Let's try, try the green so you guys can see what the green looks like. Look how pretty that is. There's the green. That's what the green looks like. Let's maybe do the leaves in the green. So if you go to the online store, you'll see there's tons of different molds, all sorts of different uh, styles of molds. All the new ones that just came out are listed in the online store and um, I just got a box today I'm gonna to show you guys I really like this green on here oh once one more here look at that you guys cute I think it needs a little bit more pink so these ones are the six dollar ones and the Primo ones redesign uh, there's more in them and they're a little bit more expensive but it's a higher quality and it will last you longer if you want to get the redesign molds This one has little tiny, tiny uh, flowers on it. So a little bit more. So anyways, that is it. I just want to show you guys um, what you can do with waxes. And you know, you can just stick with a regular metallic or you can do the colored ones on your pumpkins. But I just think it's, um, 
Now this will be a fun one, but the other one is pretty much uh, classic, you know, classic, gorgeous, um, look at this. This is one of the big ones. Beautiful, um, beautiful, classic, gorgeous pumpkin. So now the exciting part too is I'm gonna show you guys the new, some of the new molds that just came out. Let's take a look at these and see what we got here. And these are just some of them, you guys. These are just some. There's more coming. There is more coming. It's almost as tall as me. Let me get this wax out of the way. Okay, so this one is, oh my goodness, this one is Laurel Wreath. There's whoever ordered Laurel Wreath. There it is right there. There's the design. Beautiful. Oh, I forgot to put my wax away. Okay, you guys, when you buy your glue, make sure you put your lid on uh, when you're done your glue. Okay, this one is Botanist Floral. This one was a popular one. A lot of people ordered this one. Oh, uh, there it is. There's the flowers. Yeah, that's a gorgeous one. And this one, Cherry Blossoms. A lot of people ordered that one too. It is actually Cherry Blossoms, you guys. Cherry Blossoms. And this is the one, I like this one, Bell Orchids. Okay, they're putting the tags in the way. So let's take it out so we can properly see these. Let me take them out so you guys can see. There's Bell Orchids. You can see what it looks like. And uh, let me take out, let me take out the other one. You guys can see what this looks like. This is the one that is um, cherry blossoms. So I've seen people put the cherry blossoms um, on furniture. And these would be great for um, jewelry armors. If you want to paint a jewelry armor, molds are good for those. You can put these on picture frames. Botanist Floral. That one was really popular. And Laurel Wreath. This one would be really good for um, like a secretary, a desk. This would be really good for that. See, see, look at that. Gorgeous. And like I said, though, these are just some of them. I've got more coming. This one is um, Glorious Garland. Whoever ordered that one, it has arrived. Winter Bloom, this is, I like this one. Winter Blooms, look at that you guys. Gorgeous. So these are good for many things. You can put these on mirrors, right? If you wanna decorate a mirror, you can put them on mirrors. And this one is, I, I don't know how you pronounce that, Agadir Patterns. Look at, I want you guys to see, look at the detail there. It's incredibly detailed. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. And this one is called Madame Garland. And the last one I have today is called Musical Journey. This one is... Um, well, musical stuff. For anybody into uh, musical instruments, that's what this one is. So there you go. So that's it, you guys. That is the pumpkins. Um, now you know how to do these pumpkins. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys get creative and do something like this and have fun with your pumpkins for uh, Thanksgiving and fall decorating. So there we go. And here's the one we just did today. So that's it. If you have any questions, what kind of clay do you use? Uh, well, I'll show you. We just we just went over it. Um, it's the modeling material from Prima. It's in the online store. And I find it very, very easy to use. So this is what I like to use. Um, so that's in the online store. 
but I also have this in the online store um, amazing resin but I like the molly material I think it's if you go back and watch the video um, Sharon, I think you've been watching it, right? It is very easy to use, right? You just push it into your push it into your mold, you guys, and it's so easy to use that uh, molding material. And it comes in the then the tubes. You buy this whole big bucket, and um, you guys, I know it looks like a ton of modeling material, but you need quite a bit if you're going to do something like this. Let me show you. So see how big this leaf is actually quite uh, large, right? So if you're going to do something like this, right? This is quite big. Like that's really detailed and quite big. So you want a lot of uh, molding material or clay, whatever you're using, you want a lot of that. And if you don't want to buy this, um, Hobby Lobby sells, I think it's called paper clay there. Uh, you could use that too, of course. And so remember, all I do is I just, okay, whoever buys this one, you're gonna see my thumbprint. Uh, you just nuke it. I microwave it for 10 seconds, and it's easy to work with. And it's, it's pretty soft, but it is really soft here, but I like it to be a little bit softer. So there you go, you guys. It's just so easy. That's it. So hopefully you guys go and be creative and have fun and get some waxes to decorate your pumpkins and go to Walmart or Hobby Lobby or a dollar store and just have fun decorating for the fall. All right, that's it you guys, thank you.